Have you ever wondered how to add strap-on booster pods like these to your rocket that will fall off during flight? That's what I'm going to cover in this video. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today I'm going to cover how to add strap-on booster pods to your rocket. Um, now this is actually a kit that we have and the, the kit is for the pods themselves. It's not for the the rocket that you see here um, is for the pods. Um, this I call the core vehicle. These are called the pods. Um, the way these work is, um, well, let me go back and tell you how this project started. A long time ago, um, we got a lot of requests from people to add strap-on pods and they didn't know how to do it. Um, then I found uh, somebody that built a kit but unfortunately that company that he had went out of business so I started producing these myself here at Apogee Components um, and it's basically a tube which is just like a rocket and it has a rocket motor in in the back end which you can see right here um, and the way they work is there's two hooks that are glued to the side of the rocket so here's the first hook and this is called the forward hook and then there's one on the back. I mean, this kind of rocket is kind of very big, so you can hard, hard to see it. This one is a little bit different shape to it. Um, but so you have the two hooks, and they're made out of plastic. And then on the the tube itself, you'll see here on the back there's a little notch, and that's what engages this back hook right here. So that will slide into the hook, just right there in the back, and that allows it to pivot. And on the front, there's a slot right here. And there's also a slot on the base of the nose cone. So when they go together, they'll line up so that this slot lines up with this slot. And that captures this hook right here. So when you put it on, let me see if you can see this. This will go down in there and the hook goes into the tube. So now the hook is on the inside of the tube and the, the slot on the base of the nose cone will slide over the top of that hook effectively locking it in place. So the advantage here is that this tube cannot come off until the nose cone comes off. And it keeps coming off on me. So uh, that's a, a, actually a s important safety feature because if the rocket motor in this pod does not ignite, um, this will stay attached and the whole rocket will come down in the parachute with the parachute on the cord tube right here. Um, also, sometimes um, people have made hooks before that just engage on the bottom but not on the top. And then when the rocket motor fires, it, it will, instead of grabbing on the bottom, it will just fly off and then similarly um, if the rock they've had hooks on the front end that engage up here but nothing down here to catch it but then if the motor misfires or ignites late so that could drop off and then the motor could take off and the rock in the pod the whole pod could go sideways and that's very dangerous too so you want to maintain the pod onto the tube um, to make sure that everything works and it comes down safely. Um, another feature that you see here on the tube is this wooden strake. Now this serves three purposes. The first purpose, um, like I said before, is that little hook right here. Uh, and that engages the hook on the back of the rocket. Um, the second thing is that, um, see on these plastic hooks, they're like a channel. And so it aligns the tube onto the rocket. So there's one on the front here, as well as the one here on the back. So that way, this tube can only be straight along the rocket. And then the third thing is that the front part of the strake right here will catch the inside of that front hook. And that's what actually all the thrust is being pushed on right there. So that's actually the strong anchor point for the thrust. 
so that the thrust is not being pushed onto the tube itself because they actually this tube is weak. Um, if you you know if, if the thrust was pushing on it, it could crush it. So we don't want to have any thrust going on the tube. We want to keep it into that streak, and that's why that's there. So as I said before, that this is a kit and they're called the Strap-On Boosters. And you'll find them at the Apogee website at www.apogeerockets.com. My name again was Tim Van Milligan. Um, over here to the side, we think we'll, you'll enjoy the, these other videos. Uh, may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.